Today we're going to be looking at the newest G.I. Joe Classified series, Edward Torpedo Lealoha. So I've already unboxed him. This is actually my son's action figure. And I'm just going to do a quick review of it. And you can store all of his accessories on him. As you can see, this is everything he comes with. He has a knife and a holster right there. One machine gun. And the clip, the magazine is removable. Flippers, and they come on and off just like that. And they go on pretty easy. They are a nice soft uh, rubber material. Weapons, they're a little rubbery too, a little gummy. Some people say that. And he has his harpoon gun. And he holds both weapons very, very well. He holds the knife very well. And this gun, he came, oops, it came out of the box, bent up. But you can just heat that up and it should straighten out. And his backpack or his scuba gear, his oxygen tank, it fits on his back very well. It plugs in and it is not going anywhere. And the scuba mask, see so he's got very nice detail. Looks very, very good. And it can just raise up just like that. So let's go ahead and take off all of his accessories. Put those to the side. And let's take a look at the figure real quick. But once again, here's the head. This is the only head that he comes with. Good. Articulation for the head. He can rock around. He can go up and down. Pretty good movement the butterfly jones he can go forward a little bit and he can go backward a good little amount he has the bicep swivel double jointed pinless elbows and he has the up and down wrist hinge he has like this little communicator detail on the wrist he has his ab crunch the joints on this guy is very tight fresh out of the box so be careful he can go back that far looking good he can turn at the waist here. He can kick forward that much. He can kick back a little bit. He does have the drop down hips. They're very nice. He has upper thigh cut. He has double jointed pinless knees and they are very stiff. And he can touch heel to butt. And he has the low boot cut. Ankle pivot up and down. And that's torpedo out of the box. But let's go ahead and take a look at some details of this figure, shall we? This front piece, it is a separate piece. Like this strap here, it's separate from the figure. And it looks very nice. See all the nice colors and detail. Very nice paint applications on this one. He's got this little belt here. The belt is a sculpted piece. No way. Oh, it's like a rubber overlay on the crotch. Looks good. Does not look like a diaper like the McFarlane figures. He has this pouches thing, and it's a separate piece on his leg. You can see the nice details there. And once again, the uh, sheath for his knife on this side. Yeah, both hands. That's the only hands he comes with. They are trigger fingers. And he can hold his knife just like so. And he can hold his machine gun just like so. And he can hold the harpoon gun just like so. And here he is double wielding his weapons. Now, we're going to put all of his accessories back on the figure. Just to show you what that looks like. First, we're going to put the knife. I'm going to put the knife back in the sheath. It goes in just like that. I'm going to put on the backpack and the breathing uh, apparatus. And it will plug into that hole right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to bring this mask over the face just because I want to. And last, we're going to do the flippers. The flippers, you can just look and pretty much tell which one goes on which foot. And they go on just like this. They go on very easy. And there he is. Ready for action. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with Torpedo and the White Shirt Survival Original Outback. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with Torpedo and the movie version of Snake Eyes. And here he is next to Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder Wave um, Star-Lord. And here he is, just standing next to a customized uh, G.I. Joe 112 scale van. That'll be the end of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. 
Please like and subscribe this video if you actually enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully you will watch some uh, more videos.